Hey, welcome back to Premier RV. Today we're going to talk about a 2004 Monaco Dynasty 42 foot tag axle. Beautiful coach, one owner out of Northern California. Priced at 94,900, 94,000 miles as well. And this coach has three slides. Let's take a look at the outside of it. Starting up front here, look at the paint on this. I mean, it is beautiful. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a one owner, it was garaged. 04 has the one piece windshield above. This coach was ordered with the Gerard awning and I happen to have the remote in my pocket. You push a button and it extends 10 feet. This is a Count Countess three floor plan. So it has one living room slide and two bedroom slides. So this area isn't obstructed by a slide out and you have excellent base storage access. This coach has a 130 gallon fuel tank with dual fuel fills on one on each side of the coach. And then because there's no slide out, these are going to be panograph bays that slide up the sidewall. And again, the paint on this is just unbelievable. Two dual directional trays in here, lots of storage. You've got a third bay back here that doesn't have a tray in it. This will be the water filters, water pump, water manifold, and aqua hot. So I forgot at the beginning of this video, uh, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you have a coach you're thinking of selling, you can see our showroom, everything's indoors and plugged in. Get a hold of Louie or myself. We'd love to talk to you about consigning and helping you sell your motorhome. Finishing up the driver's side, we got a dryer vent up here, so it's going to have a combo washer dryer in this coach. Window awnings and dual pane windows all the way around. And if I look up, I can see the edge of a solar panel. I think there's three panels on the roof of this 04 Monaco Dynasty. Around the back here, we've got a 10,000 pound two inch receiver hitch, a nice big panograph door for full engine access. This will have a Cummins 400 horse ISL, 1200 foot pounds of torque, air filters right here, chassis batteries, disconnect, everything is within reach. Real nice setup there. And we are up on the, on the roof having a view of this dynasty. It has five solar panels, three roof airs. The caulking looks like it was just done a few weeks ago. One piece fiberglass roof. Yeah, everything's looking really good up here. Five solar panels. On the passenger side of the motorhome, it has a side mounted radiator, liftable tag axle, this is the plumbing bay, which is a panograph door that lifts up. Black and gray tanks, outside shower, pretty standard layout. Power cord reel is right here, 50 amp service. This is the opposite side of that pass-through storage bay without a tray. And then you have two more under the slide room that will have the slide trays. On the driver's side, you have window awnings on the slide room, two of them. And then up front in the uh, front run bay will be your hydraulic slide out for the generator. Those move nice and fast. I'm not gonna stand on this one, promise. It's a 10K Onan, great generator, runs at 1800 RPM steady. Hour meter is 485 hours on this dynasty, that's pretty low. One thing I like Monaco did is they put this little drawer in the front, which this has. A little extra storage and writing area. Another drawer here above zone one aqua hot. This coach has the HWH air leveling, which was an option. 
smart wheel, power seats, adjustable pedals. The wood is all walnut, which you don't see very often. That was custom ordered. And then the flooring's been updated. Got rid of the carpet and the dated tile and went with a LVT plank from the bedroom all the way up to the front. The other cool option this coach has is the fold down TV. So, you've got all storage in the front, and then when you want the TV, you push the button, it comes down. That is the original Sony that came with this motorhome in 2004. I believe it's a plasma. I would frisbee that out of there and put a new smart TV in there real quick. Um, they're a lot lighter and generate no heat, so it works great with this mechanism. We'll put that back up. TV's out of the way now, walking in and out, and when you're driving, you just don't have that screen hanging down. Pretty cool feature. The slides are HWH hydraulic, and this is a flat floor slide. Lots of storage, because they didn't do a slide room on this side. So if you look at these overhead cabinets and compare them to the other side, this is what it looks like when you don't have a slide room. And this is what it looks like when you do. So they're a lot lower, lower ceiling, smaller cabinets. And you lose some length also because you got about a foot on each end. You give up for a slide room. So the sofa's a foot longer and the kitchen's a foot longer. So it made a lot of sense to delete the living room slide on the curb side or the passenger side to get the larger patio area and the storage in the motorhome. You can see it in this one. The countertop is huge. All the storage above and below. Cut. This Dynasty has the typical dinette arrangement with the wall cabinet module. So this table will slide out. This leaf drops in. So you can have four people around the table or if you just want a larger table. And then when you're driving and going down the road, you can get that out of your way, put this in the rear closet out of the way, and it makes it a lot more open walking through here when that slides in. It's got the Norcold 12 cubic foot refrigerator, freezer, fridge on the bottom, freezer on top. Storage down below because it has the optional aqua hot, so there's no propane furnace occupying that space. And as I mentioned, this is called a count Countess. It's a triple slide. It has two wardrobe slides in the back with a north-south bed. So it's very unusual, uh, but lots of storage. And with the flooring, you can see how it opens this area up. It's just massive back here. This is the bathroom on the count Countess. It's a side bath. It has a large shower, your toilet, and second sink. There's a fantastic fan above and a skylight. Here's your main vanity sink with all your storage above and below. And then that combo washer dryer, we saw the vent outside. That's where that sits. And the rest of this is all storage. So this is all one slide out in the bedroom from the sink back here to this closet, the ironing board, cedar lined, and then if you do a 180 jack, this is the other slide room. So it has two extra folding chairs, all the original books, operator's manuals are these two, and then six drawers down below. TV recessed in, the wall right there for the bed, and back here you each have large nightstands with more storage below, deep drawers, little cabinets here and there. You can see how clean it is and it's nice and deep. That goes all the way across the back. And then above my head, these are just some little areas that they added more storage on both sides. 
And this is all walnut again, which it had a special order that. Nobody really ordered that for stock back then. So it goes really good with the contrast of the lighter floors and materials used. Thanks again for watching our video on the 2004 Monaco Dynasty. If you have any questions on this coach, please get a hold of Louis or myself at the numbers posted below. And please click the like and subscribe button. If you have a coach you want to sell or know somebody, they can call us. We'll be happy to talk to them and see if we can't help them move it. Thank you.